I got a comment from one of my viewers about the wintering over of the black soldier fly. Now, these rows here, it's about 100 foot long, and there's five of them, are for my red worms. But with the warm weather we, we have, we get the black soldier flies, and, and I have to leave the produce exposed for a little bit of time just so that they don't overheat my rows and kill my worms. But what happens then is I get a lot of black soldier flies growing in with my worms. Now the worms do just fine. Um, they, they live in two different areas. There's, uh, see now, between this two stacks of produce, there was a stack of produce a week ago. And I've covered it with some uh, bedding. And, uh, and it tends to heat up. Once it cools, our uh, our red worms are move into it, but while it's still warm, a lot of times what we'll get is we'll get pockets of black soldier fly. All right now, this feels pretty cool in this area. So right now, the red worms are doing just fine. And what will happen over the winter is the black soldier flies will burrow down. And inside these piles, they're, they're deep enough to where they'll stay about 50 degrees inside. Occasionally, they'll heat up a little bit. But that'll just allow the black soldier flies to hibernate through the winter and come out in the, in the late spring, early summer. And while they're hibernating, the red worms will do just fine. We've had some cool nights, and so this stuff's cooled off pretty good. Oh, so now right here we've got a, a blotch of black soldier fly larva. They're going to try and get to the food first, because they're going to eat all the, the, the sugars. And then as soon as they're done, the red worms are going to come right in behind and uh, finish it up. Also, it'll take the black soldier fly manure and turn it into castings. So, they do live in harmony. That's a European night crawler. They do well in compost also. One of the videos I'll be doing soon is knowing what the function is of each of your worms that you can have. And sometimes it works better to have a single type of worm, and sometimes it works better to have multiple. So there's another European night crawler. They work real well in the finished compost. But anyway, this this the point of this video is to basically show you that the black soldier flies and the red worms can work together um, in the heat of the summer, when I'm still getting produce, the black soldier flies will eat it up for me when the red worms can't because it's too warm. And so I still get my composting done. And then the red worms come back later and finish it up for them. Let's see. Nice cool spot. Lots of nice red worms. Maybe where it's a little deeper. And we'll find black soldier fly larvae in it. And like I say, it'll it's kind of a good trade-off. Because the red worms can't do the all the work that I need done in, in the summertime. But then when it cools, the red worms can come back. And red worms are known to re-eat food up to five times, maybe even more, um, just digesting it and condensing it more and more each time they do it. So having the black soldier fly is not a problem. Now in small home compost, having black soldier flies in there, they can completely overtake a compost. And when the black soldier fly in a small area will heat up the bin or the compost to about 100 some degrees, which will kill your redworms. So if you see them in a small compost, what you want to do is you want to pick them out and feed them to your chickens or your fish.
or your tilapia or your pigs. It's good for all of them.